Hi. Hey. <laughs> Hello, people. <laughs> Say hi, friends. Hello. <laughs> Get out of your head Don't run from the fear of your expectations Today we are going to Kayambe for our ice training because next week it is Cotopaxi and we need to know how to use our ice picks we need to know how to use um, our crampons especially that's actually the most important one because walking in crampons is completely different Let's get started So when we got to Kayambe, um, it was really nice because it was a bit late because we wanted to camp like at a certain height on the mountain. So we had to hike and we arrived, it was maybe 5 p.m. I think. So the sun was about to set. So we arrived at the refugee and the view was incredible. We put on all our coats and everything necessary um, to go up to our camping spot. It's so we started walking and all of that. And what was really cool is we saw a wolf. Oh, uh, the walk up there took almost two hours. I think I was expecting it to be like 40 minutes. And it was dark and on rocks with snow, so it was dangerous. And we were all tired, we were hungry, we just wanted to get there. And we got there, it was maybe like 7, 7.30 p.m. And uh, right away we had to install our tents, because if not, we were never gonna do it. But once we got there, like my energy went back, we all helped set up, and then um, we ate a nice little dinner. Oh, there we go. The snow was really sticky, and you know, sticky snow is perfect snow for a snowman. So me and Joseph were like, let's make a snowman. So we made a snowman. It was a lot of fun to make. We, it actually had a face and everything. Honestly, I think it's the most sophisticated snowman I've ever made. Luis. 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 Carlos. Carlos. Look at his face. Carlito. Entonces se llama Luis, que dijimos? Eso es Luis. De Canvaya. De Cayambe. Uh-huh. This is... Okay, I'm with Louis. <laughs> at first, she, at first she had a boob, but we tried to take it off and it made Joseph really uncomfortable. <laughs> then we went to bed. Louis is sleeping in a tent in the snow. True. Do you want a tour of our, our tent? Wait a second. So this is the roof. Yeah. I've got my lamp going on there. My knees are bended. At what? It already deflated? Here, this must have a hole you've in got it. like my clothes hanging, like the one that's wet. It's it won't dry. Joseph's clothes, and then my clothes for tomorrow is inside my sleeping bag. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna do the same. And Fred playing games on his phone because why not? <laughs> the next morning we woke up at 6 a.m. We slept better than I was expecting for being in altitude, but it was still like you fall asleep, you sleep for maybe an hour and then you wake up and then you sleep maybe for another hour and then you wake up. It was, it had warmed up in the tent. So before opening the door and getting all outside, we right away put on all our equipment and all that to right away get ready. And then going out, boots, crampons, everything came on and then we ate breakfast. By 8 a.m. we left. <laughs> I was roped on with a guide and Joseph. My dad was with someone and then my mom and my brother with someone else. We roped on this way because that was how we wanted to be for Cotopaxi. That was what we thought would be the best options because we paired up like people who go to a similar speed or who need this guide and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Tiene vida y es importante el al Cayambe 
pedirle permiso, pedirle autorización que nos permita hacer las, las actividades de, de montaña. So we started walking. At first it was a little bit of rocks, but we got, got past that really quickly. And um, the glaciers and all that, it was incredible. And we actually saw this group, which is a group that we had previously seen at Ilinisa Norte. And they were like, you guys are here for your ice training too. And we were like, well, yes. And they're gonna actually be with us for Cotopaxi next week, which is really fun. So for the ice climbing, the goal at first, we had thought, well, if we can, it would be great to do the summit of Cayambe, but turns out we didn't end up doing it because we left late from the campsite. So the snow was, wasn't was icy enough. So since it's a glacier, it has quite a bit of snow. So like we had, to, we would have snow up to like our knees and to, and even to um our, Hips. You're gonna cross your first crevasse. Ah. I fell into it, but just a little. You need to cross it quickly. Look where the guide is. Wow. Look, we see the lake, uh, Joseph. Now, uh, in front of our... Uh, By one point, um, we were walking and um, the guides were actually crawling on the ground trying to get up because we just, like, that was the only option. So we actually only walked, like, 2.5 kilometers, but it's because it, each step was really hard. I don't know if you guys are seeing a butt or something in the screen, but that's my cat there. At some point, we got to where we told ourselves that's where we're stopping. And we took a little snack break and we got down and went back to our campsite. And then it was just time to undo all our tents. Um, and that's when we were like, let's just do it. Because we knew from the night before, we knew that we had like another two hours of walk to do. And we were we didn't want to do that. And plus, it was hailing so hard. And we were trying to pack our bags without getting a bunch of snow in it. So we started walking back down, realized that my brother had forgotten something at the campsite because it had gone buried in all the hell. But he went back to get it with a guide and we decided to keep going. Going down, we didn't take the same path as going up and I definitely preferred the path to go back down. It was easier, it was quicker. And we were all happy to have to be done. We were wet in the car because of all the hail, but the hail had stopped by then. By the time we were back down, it was snow, so that's nice. The guide's truck in which they had come was frozen. So they were like, it's fine, it's going, it's going down. We're just gonna start it up while we're going down. It's gonna warm up and all of that. And it wasn't starting back up. So at many occasions when we ended up, when it wasn't going as down, it was more flat we all had to get out of our car and go push them down the mountain, which I had never done before, but their car ended up warming up and they were able to go back down after a certain amount of pushes. <laughs>
overall, like I said, we didn't do the summit. The main thing this was for was to get us ready for the altitude. And we did it. We didn't hike up as high as we would have liked to. So we'll see how Cotopaxi goes next week. But personally, I feel confident that we've done enough altitude training. Uh, if you guys are ever to go to Kayambe, it's beautiful. This glacier that I've climbed yet in this whole series. And it was incredible. Next week is Cotopaxi. I'm excited. I'm mostly scared though. Subscribe to see that because I think it's going to be quite an adventure. <laughs> See you next week for the next video, people.